Shalom all. Please forgive my voice. I'm getting over a sinus thing. All praise to the Most High for lifting me off of my sick bed. And many thanks to those that interceded on my behalf in prayer. I wanted to talk briefly about what occurred yesterday, and that was uh, June 20th. We know in the West, today is the official day of summer, uh, today being June 21st on the Gregorian calendar. I wanted to talk about what occurred in Saudi Arabia yesterday. It was very telling to me, and I received revelation regarding that. But as we know, there has been uh, a heat wave going on throughout the world, throughout the earth, I should say. And countries like Saudi Arabia have experienced intense heat. As a result of this intense heat, uh, specifically referring to what occurred in Saudi Arabia, as uh, people were making their pilgrimage to the uh, Hajj, I believe it's called H A J J something or other, uh, um, in regard to uh, the Muslim re- religion. This is a pilgrimage they are to po- to make at least once in their life. As those people were making their pilgrimage, people were perishing because of the intense heat. And as I watched the reports regarding that yesterday, I was led right back to Psalm Tehillim 91. We as believers, we we have to understand that the word is coming to pass in real time. And many of us have been meditating on Psalm 91, especially in in these latter days as things become increasingly more wicked so what I immediately got in my spirit the verse in Psalm 91 that talks about a thousand shall fall at thy side which is verse 7 when I watched that report it talked about a thousand the toll the death toll had reached a thousand so that immediately dropped in my ruach in my spirit And as I watched the report, it was just another reminder, for lack of a better word, that the word is coming to pass. Another reminder 
of the Most High Yahuwah's justice. His judgment is coming down. And we must be on the bright side. Because we don't want to be behind. The, we don't want to be on the opposite side. It's not a good it's not a good thing to experience the wrath of the most high. Not at all. And so this is the understanding that I received. More judgment is coming. And when I uh when I thought or meditated on Psalm 91 again today I received further understanding of verse 8 goes on to say only with thine eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked So that's literally what's taken place in this particular circumstance with what happened in Saudi Arabia. We as believers, we're seeing these things come to pass. We are seeing the judgment of the Most High come down. And so, I also felt strongly in my ruach. There, there was, there was more as well that pertained to Psalm ninety-one. With that passage in uh, verse seven, when it again it says a thousand. Now, the first part of that, I should say, says, A thousand shall fall at thy side. So that was resonating in my ruach, my spirit, today, as I was meditating and as I was verbalizing Psalm 91. And so... At the at my side, just kept again resounding in my ruach, and so in looking at the map of Africa, where is Saudi Arabia? It's on the side, okay. So that was another (laughs) the word of the most high is awesome it's just awesome if we want to go deep I mean there should be no reason why we're not going deeper in his word as the chosen most definitely we ought to always stay deep but to get revelations it's just it's, it's awesome it's amazing how the word just truly it is it's timeless and it's it's just wonderful that the father loves us so much and reveals his truths to us again we have to seek out this knowledge we have to ask and we'll receive I've been saying this a lot lately <laughs> and it, it's the truth you know it it's just so important so in my receiving of all of this it was again just another example of the most high's judgment coming down and we as believers are going to continue to see this. But we got to stay up underneath the Father. This is a word for me 
as I as I always say too, and it, I'm not just saying this for you; it's for me as well. But we have to stay up underneath the Father. And I'm going to close with uh, a passage of scripture that was uh, that was laid on my ruach as well. And it is um, Yeshayahu, Isaiah 54. Oh, excuse me, not 54. My apologies, 55. Starting at verse 6. Seek Yahuwah while he is to be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to Yahuwah, who has compassion on him, and to our Elohim, for he pardons much. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares Yahuwah. For as the Shamayim, heaven, are higher than the earth, So are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down, and the snow from the Shamayim, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it bring forth bud, and give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth, it does not return to me void, but shall do what I please and shall certainly accomplish what I sent it for. Again, that is Yeshayahu, Isaiah 55, verses 6 through 11. May the Most High Yahuwah add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word his void excuse me his word will not come back void it will accomplish what it says it's going to do and we're going to continue to see the manifestation of that word I pray this has been edifying to the body of believers hold on to Father Yah's unchanging hand. Please seek Him. Stay in a repentant state. Uh, We need to continue to have a Ruach, a spirit of repentance. Have a blessed day evening, night, one and all. Thank you for supporting, for coming on, liking my videos, commenting, subscribing. You're greatly appreciated. I continue to keep you in my prayers. May the most high Barak, bless and keep all of you. Stay prayed up and please stay safe out here. Shalom.